Hi everyone. So EndNote is the software package to um, organize your references. So if you're writing your thesis, an assignment or a publication, you can use this software to um, keep track of your references and use them and use the software to populate your document with the, uh, with the references you have. If you are a student or an academic, you may be able to get EndNote for free through your institution. So check with the uh, library webpage, uh, perhaps, or the university webpage. But if you, um, if, you're, if you don't have access to a free copy, you just need to buy from EndNote.com. So let's say I have got a, um, I've prepared a paragraph here, and I make a, um, one statement here about the prevalence of dementia and then the costs of dementia, and I need to uh, populate these two statements with the appropriate references. So I've uh, I've got a couple of references here. So this is one um, study, and uh, let's say I've read it. I'm happy with it. I want to use it as evidence. So let's say I use. I'll show you how to do this in Google Scholar. So because it's one of the most widely used. So I look for the reference. Now you may not have this entry here, this tab entry, import into EndNote. If you don't, just click on settings and then Bibliography Manager and uh, choose EndNote. It might be set by default on BibText, but just choose EndNote and then save. Now um, import into EndNote. I don't know why my computer does this, but I have to go through the actual download folder and then open up the reference from here with the software and so forth. Um, but I've, I've used EndNote in a um, Windows computer and it didn't do that. Uh, EndNote automatically picked the reference and it opened up itself. So anyway, so if I click on the reference here and here on the right, I can now edit it a little bit if I need to. So for example, let's remove the E2 here and that, and then I click outside here and then save. And now the reference has been um, edited. Now let's say I want the other reference. So this was on the cost of dementia. I want this one as well. And I go and do the same process for this reference. And here we go. Now I've got both references here. Click on all references. Now um, a good thing about, about, about EndNote today is that you can create groups and you can organize your references. So the first one is on the prevalence and on the second one is on the cost. So I have created two groups. All you need to do is to right click on my groups and create group. And um, that's it. And that's how you create a group. Now um, I will you can shift these references into the um, appropriate groups and this is really just to keep things a little bit more clean um, because when you're writing a paper you might have 50, 100, 150 references and so they look a little bit, um, not, it doesn't look very tidy around here so you may just want to um, organize them like this so you can just click on each group and it'll take you to the um, relevant references. But now I'll show you how to um, populate it, populate the document. So for the first statement I need the first reference so just insert citation and we use the first one prints and click on insert. Um, oops. Uh, so instant formatting is off at the moment but it needs to be on so if it is on then it uh, instantly formats the um, reference list as well as well as and the index reference so make sure that that one is on the instant formatting then uh, the second one that's the same insert citation we use the other one and click on insert now if i want to have the uh, author's last name outside a bracket I can do that as well so let's say we remove the first and um, remove that as well and the way we do it's like this and then we click on insert citation and we pick on the first one and then click on the arrow here and uh, display as author here and now it shows it to me like this prints at all show that 
and so forth. So this is another way to to um, do this. So for the style, you need to make sure that the style is set to the correct one. So you choose the one that you are working with in this case for Psychology APA. And then um, just make sure that sometimes EndNote makes silly mistakes. So you may want to just sort of make sure that the references are in, in proper format uh, before you submit your paper. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video.